Some prehistoric scientific names are notoriously complex, but one of them stands out against the others. With 23 letters and 9 syllables, Micropachycephalosaurus, a small ornithischian from the Lake Cretaceous of China, boasts the longest dinosaur name to date. The sole species of the genus is Micropachycephalosaurus hongtuyanensis, a diminutive little creature known from partial remains. In today's video, we will be meeting this little dinosaur in detail, exploring the story of its life, evolution, and discovery. Join us as we meet Micropachycephalosaurus, the tiny dinosaur with an incredibly long name. The first thing you might notice about Micropachycephalosaurus is that the extensive name is closely linked to Pachycephalosaurus, the famous dome-skulled herbivore from North America's Hell Creek Formation. It was, in fact, a distant relative. Microcephalosaurus was a basal marginocephalian, an evolutionary basis to the Pachycephalosaurus and their closest relatives, the Ceratopsians. This means genera such as Stegoceras, Prenocephaly, Triceratops, Styracosaurus, and Protoceratops can all link their family trees back to this little creature. Despite the long name, Micropachycephalosaurus was a very small dinosaur, growing to less than one meter from nose to tail in adulthood. The animal's links to its Pachycephalosaurus kin were clearer than those to the Ceratopsians, and in life this would have been a bipedal herbivore built for speed and agility as it darted through the undergrowth of the ancient Chinese forests. Its name translates into English as small, thick-headed lizard, a callback to its relatives, with a skull roof that was believed by some paleontologists to be thicker than usual. The skull was thought to have been tipped with a short beak, which would have allowed the animal to pick off leaves and small plant matter from stems. Some reconstructions of Micropachycephalosaurus depict the animal with a row of bristly, feather-like structures running along the dorsal side of its tail. While this is speculative, it is not impossible to consider. Cetacosaurus, a basal ceratopsian, is known to have possessed such structures on its own tail, thought to be adapted from scales. These structures may have helped Cetacosaurus signal to other members of its group when danger was around, or could have been used in elaborate mating displays with the opposite sex. As Micropachycephalosaurus was a basal marginocephalian itself, the presence of these structures on its own tail is not out of the question, but we won't know for certain until better preserved fossil content is discovered. This little herbivore first came to light when the first bones were unearthed from a cliffside overlooking Hong Tuyan train station, not far from the city of Laiyang in China's Shandong province. In terms of wider China, this site lies on the peninsular area of the country's northeast coast, immediately west of Korea. These rocks lie in the Jiangzheng Ding Formation and date back to the Campanian stage of the Late Cretaceous period. The animals of this formation would have been living a few million years before the end Cretaceous extinction event wiped out the non-avian dinosaurs for good. Micropachycephalosaurus's bones were first removed from the cliffside in 1978, where they were passed to paleontologist Dong Ziming. He identified them as the fragmentary remains of an as-of-yet unnamed Ornithischian dinosaur. Amongst these bones was a partial tooth row with seven teeth preserved alongside it, fragments of several vertebrae, part of the ilium, as well as a femur and partial tibia from the left leg. Much of the dinosaur had been lost to the pressures of rock movement and buildup over the millions of years between the Campanian and 1978. Dong would issue the genus's name, recognizing it as a new dinosaur entirely assigning it the specific name Hong Tuyanensis, 
or from Hong to Yan in English, noting the area the bones were discovered. Much of the subsequent study on this animal has centered around trying to place it in the right group of dinosaurs. Dong Ming was the first to weigh in on what he thought Micropachycephalosaurus was when he described it, proposing that it was a pachycephalosaur rather than a basal marginocephalian. In 2008, paleontologists R.J. Butler and Q. Zhao re-examined the fossils, stating that they could not see a reason to place Micropachycephalosaurus directly in with the pachycephalosaurs. They placed the dinosaur further back, claiming instead that it was a basal Neornithischian, basal to not only the pachycephalosaurs and ceratopsians, but to the ornithopods, hypsilophodonts, rhabdodontomorphs, and more. In 2011, R.J. Butler went back over these studies and decided that Micropachycephalosaurus was more closely related to the ceratopsians. But this too was disproved in 2024, when Fonesca and colleagues placed the dinosaur closer to the pachycephalosaurs. There have not yet been any updates or changes to this decision. Micropachycephalosaurus, as a resident of the Jiangjunding Formation, would have found itself in a world dominated by streams and lakes. A warm, humid climate would have permitted the growth of dense forests, conditions which, upon their eventual drying up, may have led to the extinction of this little herbivore. Dinosaur life makes up the majority of vertebrates that have been unearthed from this locality and the majority of known species from Jiangjunding are other Ornithischians. While Micropachycephalosaurus foraged on the forest floor for vegetation that could be tackled by its beak, the Ankylosaur Panacosaurus would have browsed nearby. One of the most famous Ankylosaurs, this heavily armored herbivore was distinct from the larger Ankylosaurus by boasting curved blade-like osteoderms along its back as opposed to blunt scutes. A tough tail club may have allowed it to defend itself from attack or display to possible mates. Also present here was the Hadrosaur Tanius. This animal would have had a hump-like ridge running along its back in life, thanks to the tall spinal vertebrae running along its back. Some reconstructions depict spike-like structures adorning the length of it, whereas others present an animal with bright colors blended into the top of its torso. It was likely used as a display tool that stood out well amidst the forests and wetlands of the Jiangjunding Formation. Much of the dinosaur life of the Jiangjunding Formation is yet to be formally identified. Several additional species have been unearthed from the rocks, but not enough fossil content has been found to reliably assign them to a genus. We know, for example, that sauropods were present here, but cannot say exactly which until more information is uncovered. Alongside the sauropods were a few unnamed ciliurosaurs, some of which may have been Micropachycephalosaurus's predators. Ciliurosauria contains all theropods that are closely related to birds, such as the Tyrannosaurs, Dromaeosaurs, Compsognathus, and more. The presence of an animal as large and well-armored as Panacosaurus could point to there being very large predators present on the scene, but scientists won't know until these animals can be properly identified. On top of dinosaur life, we know that multiple species of turtle were present alongside Micropachycephalosaurus, the presence of turtles and other aquatic animals in a region can help scientists determine what kind of environment a given formation would have shown in life. And as such, we can see that lakes and streams were present in the Jiangjunding Formation. As well as this, this formation has been prolific in providing scientists with well-preserved dinosaur eggs. Some are thought to belong to dinosaurs that have not yet been named and described and as such have been given two generic names. These are given when a prehistoric animal is known only from its eggs, rather than hard remains or soft tissue.
Micropachycephalosaurus is by no means the only basal dinosaur known from within the marginocephalia clade. It is considered to be of close relation to the genus Chaoyangsaurus, another basal herbivore from China's late Jurassic, but this animal may be more closely related to the Ceratopsians than the Pachycephalosaurus. Stenopolix, a small basal marginocephalian from Germany, and Yin Long, another from China, are sometimes associated with these animals too. If Micropachycephalosaurus was more closely related to the Pachycephalosaurus, then it could be a close relative of Wanonosaurus from late Cretaceous China. With a clearly thicker skull and longer, more derived legs, this was a definite pachycephalosaur, which likely spent its days running through forests and plains several million years before its relatives would grow considerably larger. Elsewhere in the clade, Pachycephalosauria was the family Pachycephalosauridae, which contained a series of animals you might already be familiar with. Pachycephalosaurus is the most famous of these, an animal that is notorious for its very prominent domed skull, the purpose of which has long been considered. It may have been used as a defensive or display tool, depending on its durability and the force the animal was able to muster up. Stegoceras was another pachycephalosaur, this time from the late Cretaceous of Canada's dinosaur park formation in what is now southern Alberta. Pachycephalosaurids were also successful in Mongolia, with Goyocephaly, Prenocephaly, and Homolocephaly all existing here across the late Cretaceous over various species. The Ceratopsians are much more well-known and need little introduction, having been covered extensively on this channel before. Micropachycephalosaurus might have been slightly less related to the Ceratopsians as paleontologists once thought, but relatively close by on its family tree sat famous powerhouses such as Triceratops, Styracosaurus, Pentaceratops, Ineosaurus, and more. Micropachycephalosaurus serves as a reminder about just how confusing some dinosaur genera can prove to be. Its placement in the marginocephalian family tree has been the source of debate for decades, and only recently has our most up-to-date theory been disproved yet again. This happens all the time with prehistoric animals. As we are unable to see them in life and can only discern information from their fossilized remains, it becomes much harder to be certain about any information that might come to light. Hopefully in the future, scientists will be lucky enough to uncover more information about this confusing little herbivore, and we can describe the natural history of Micropachycephalosaurus with a much stronger degree of accuracy.